Here's the upload node. Final one. Give me a moment. I am the only one who can get you home. Without me, you will never go back. Something is wrong. Reinforcing barrier encryption. He is resisting. I will need more time. Releasing specimen. We should be able to access the vessel now. We should head back to my facility. The recompilation of the Matrix should be done by now, and the seed should be ready. Myself to just the species available on this planet, including my creators, is the reason why I still haven't been able to unlock the code. But now, with new samples, I'm so close to achieving my purpose. I might need to revisit the planet of these humans soon. Obtain a larger batch. He's planning another trip to Earth. I must stop him.
I should head back to the monolith. So, I have a question. If you can resurrect me, why not just resurrect your people? Our physiology is more complex than yours. We can't replicate our neural system. I see. Just lesser creatures then, like us. You're not lesser, Kate. If anything, you've showed me how we're supposed to. Recompilation is complete. The seat is ready, and the barrier is down. Take it. One final thing remains. You need the master access to activate the monolith connection to the vessel. Connectome transfer complete. The entity is ready. I will store her essence in the nanomachines. The same ones the custodian is using to induce mutations. However, these will not mutate the host. Instead, they will graft my connectome onto their genetic structure. The entity will carry my thoughts and access privileges, thus making them available to the human. I am also using the nanomachines to grant the human a special status. The system will see them as a control variable Preventing mutation, permanent injury, and even death. I, um, I just hope it is enough. These people do not deserve our fate. This is... you. In a way. Her name was Naya. She was a scientist, and one of the custodian's creators. She always looked at the universe with eyes wide open. But her hunger for knowledge, her desire to unlock the code, made her blind. And for that, she and those around her paid the ultimate price. Before her demise, she realized that the custodian would not stop with her people. She learned of his plans to reach across the stars and find new species, new specimens to experiment on. Her own kind was responsible for their fate, but not these people. Naya couldn't bear the guilt for them as well. So she created another entity, similar to the Custodian, but smaller in scope. Made out of just one connectome, her own. She gave the entity her mind, but also her heart, as you would say. The purpose of this entity would not be to find the code of life, but rather to aid life. To aid you, Kate. She created me. Naya made me in her image, and out of her own neural map. Her knowledge, her memories, her being. I became a whisper of what she once was. And then I was imprinted to you. They're nanomachines in your body, 
inserted when you were resurrected for the first time. After I died in the Hermes crash? Yes. Only these nanomachines did not mutate you. Instead, they brought us together. They put me in your mind. And they did something else, too. You see, Naya could not stop the experiment, as the custodian had already taken full control. But she was able to give you a special state within it. Using the nanomachines, she gave you the status of a control variant. The system would restore you in case of death or mutation and keep you as a constant, alive and unchanged. Naya hoped this would give you a chance to stand against the custodian and protect your people against him. She was right. And now you must take the fight to him. You just need the master access. Once it is consumed, you will be able to reach the vessel and reach its core. How do I get this master access? You already have it. I am the master access. Go to the monolith. I will do the rest. I... I just wanted you to see her before I go. I wanted you to see... me. I... I'm glad you did, Naya. Put the coordinates to the vessel and grant you master access. This will consume me, and I will not be able to aid you further. <sighs> Naya. The custodian is aware you're coming. He will defend himself. You must insert the seed into his core, which will destroy both him and the vessel. You will die, but the system should restore you back on the planet. However, the custodian was right, Kate. This will also destroy your means of getting back to your world. We don't have a choice. We'll find another way back to Earth. The custodian must be stopped. Agreed. I will leave something for you. A parting gift. Maybe it will show you a path back home. You will find it in the monoliths after your battle. I am sad I won't be around to see you defeat the custodian. But after watching you all this time, I have no doubt you will prevail. I believe in you. Kate, your people have such potential. Do not repeat our mistakes, but never stop searching for answers. Never stop being hungry for knowledge. Goodbye. Goodbye, Naya. Thank you for everything. This is the inside of the Metahedron. It's mesmerizing. All right. Time to face the custodian. You've got this, Kate. Resourceful human, I have decided to offer you a way back to your planet. A gift from one scientific mind to another. You will awaken on your homeworld. This will all be just a distant memory. The remaining human specimens will suffice. I am close to unlocking the code, fulfilling my mission. You will find solace in the fact that you were a part in one of the greatest discoveries in the history of sentient life. I will not leave my friends here with you, monster. You're not surviving this. Disappointing. I preferred the optimal solution to this conundrum, one that would benefit all sides. But you leave me no choice. It's only a matter of time. Before I break the protection my creator granted you. Let's see how many of your deaths will be required to destroy you permanently.
Is this the core? I have to insert the seed. I alone have the power to bring you back to your homeworld. Ending me will sever that possibility. The knowledge will be lost. One of the universe's greatest mysteries will remain locked forever. Reconsider, human. You will never see your planet again. This is for Richard and Naya, you monster. You're back. Personal log. Mission specialist Kate Ward. The entity known as the Custodian, the one responsible for everything that happened to the SCAR team, has been destroyed. His existence endangered not only members of my team, but potentially all of Earth as well. And who knows how many more worlds. He was a product of recklessness rather than malicious intent. But the consequences of his actions were tragic, nonetheless. So many lives lost, including our mission commander, Richard Robinson. He will be dearly missed. Naya and her people, creators of this place and of the Custodian, were in many ways similar to humans. Scientists, explorers, seekers. They discovered something incredible. Something that might hold the secret to all life. Perhaps this was a mystery that was not meant to be unlocked so soon. Their fate should be a warning to us all, but not a deterrent. If anything, I now know that even in the vastness of universe, there are others like us. People looking for answers. That gives me hope and makes the great distance from home just a little smaller. Naya left us her gift, just as she said. The monolith has the coordinates of a planet that I hope supports human life. 
I believe it to be Naya's homeworld. I don't know what awaits us there. New dangers, new discoveries, perhaps even a means to return to Earth. These are all unknowns. But what is certain is that we stand together. Mike, Tam, and I. We are scientists. We are a team. We are scars. We will find our way home.